Welcome to my cozy crypt. Have I got a story for you? <laughs> a tacky tropical tale of love and lust, greed and ghouls, and my personal favorite, death. <laughs> but I'm warning you, it's not a pretty picture. So, pack up your passport and prepare for this torrid tale of putrefaction in paradise. I'm sure you'll find it appealing. <laughs> Screw papers direct from the executor of the Fitzgerald estate to your eager young hands. Oh, I can already see the fabulous Hotel Calypso rising on that land already. Yeah, pity the widow Fitzgerald is going to miss the grand opening. Like you missed the house call when she went into cardiac arrest. <laughs> hey, Doc. Yes, that is very unfortunate. Freddy? Who is that incredible creature? That incredible creature, my dear boy, is Margaret Richardson. She's one of the London Richardson. She needs someone to show her around the island. Introduce me. Uh, Margaret's rather a tad high strung. If I were you, I'd keep my hand, among other things, in my pocket. Freddy, darling, it's been a dog's age. Margaret! Thanks so much for the invitation. Oh, mind my hair. It's already suffering from the humidity. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret, may I introduce our host, Mr. Logan Andrews? Margaret, she's just arrived from England. How do you do? Better already. Welcome to our island paradise. Paradise? Oh, hardly. I'd forgotten how hot it gets down here and how humid. <laughs> and the food, it's so spicy and so... ethnic. <laughs> The trip down here was an absolute nightmare. They have the nerve to call the service first class. What they really should call it, of course, is steerage. You said she was a tad high strung. She's a bitch on wheels. Boss, boss, come quick. There'd be a terrible accident. <clears throat> Don't go away. Where would I go in this godforsaken place? We'll be cleaning away the brush. And before we know what happened, the quicksand is swallowing him up just like that. Poor Charlie, man. We're going to miss him. Yeah. All right, tomorrow take the man and start at the other end. But that's what I've been trying to tell you, boss. The land, all of it, swamp, quicksand. Then sink pylons, all right? Boss, you can't do nothing. I don't care what it takes. Just make it work. Boss, you can shake me all you want. But I'm being straight with you. If you're going to build here, it's going to take more money than God. Mm. You look 
like you lost your best friend if you had one. Not now, Freddy, not now. The land is a swamp. It's going to cost millions to build on it. <laughs> My God, I'm ruined. Whenever you call her, the bitch on wheels. But she's a Bugatti with a four on the floor. And four million in the bank. Mm, I always said you get ahead and you get no matter what it takes or who. <laughs> Miss uh, Robertson, wasn't it? That's Richardson. Funny, nobody else seems to have any trouble remembering my name. Perhaps I've been spending all of my energies remembering your face. Really, Mr. Andrews? Shouldn't you be saving yourself for more strenuous pursuits? I know you don't like this place very much, but it does have its compensations. Moonlit beaches, pounding surf, tropical breezes. And you. Yes, and me. A boorish young hustler. Good night, Mr. Andrews. What do you want? Can I visit an old friend? Don't be playing that game with me, Logan Andrews. Our friendship was over. As soon as your fancy friends didn't approve of you bringing your own duck meat to that club barbecue. Touche, Psyche. Then I shall cut to the chase, which unfortunately isn't going too well. It seems there's a certain young lady who doesn't find me quite as charming as you once did. And I was thinking maybe you could uh, do something. Strictly business, of course. All right. Good. Then it's this you'll be needing. You give her one drop, she become your wife. But if you give her two, she be yours for life. The swimming pool will be right here. And this picture, of course, depicts the cabanas. What do you think? Yes, I'm sure the potential's there, but as my father always used to say, the first three rules of real estate are location, location, and location. And this location is disgusting, disgusting, and disgusting. I think it's a bad risk. And you, Mr. Andrews, are bad news. Well, I'm sorry that you feel that way because you made quite an impression on me last night. On everyone at the party, in fact. If that's the creme de la creme of island society, give me skimmed milk. How about something a bit stronger? It's just so goddamned hot down here. Here, you'll feel better. Not until I'm out of this tropical hellhole. Did it? Did it just get hotter in here? Yes. And I believe it's going to get even hotter. <laughs> Over my dead body. Good night, Logan. And good riddance. Is that you? Uh-huh. What are you doing here? I couldn't stay away. Our 
are you feeling all right? Mm -hmm. I'm fine. Oh, and don't call me Margaret. Call me. Maggie. Can I, uh, get you anything? Uh-huh. You? Dambala Vido. Thank you, Wellington. Really, Logan, I don't like the looks of that man. You're going to have to get a better class of servant. But darling, his family's worked here for generations. Where else would he go? Somewhere with lower standards, I imagine. Care for some champagne? Arrivederci, Margaret. Hello, Maggie. Oh, should be a refreshing tidbit. Kumbaladia. Osimbiai. To our undying love. <laughs> Did it? Did it? Just get hotter in here. <laughs> Freddie, you've got enough drugs and that bag of tricks to stock a pharmacy, for God's sake. Do something. You can't let her go like the widow Fitzgerald. Cover your tongue, dear boy. I'm doing it again. I don't know what's wrong with her yet. It could be anything. Has she eaten or ingested anything unusual? Not that I can think of. Logan! I'll always love you! Forever and ever! to the services of God, your gains are such as make for holiness, and the end is eternal life. For sin pays a wage, and the wage is death. But God gives freely, and his gift is eternal life in union with Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. 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 I kept my part of the bargain. Did you keep yours? <laughs> Margaret is dead. You killed her. Me? I only made it. You give it to her. You're not worth going to prison for, my love. Where you're going, tis far worse, my child. Far worse. Margaret. Maggie. You were the biggest fish a guy could ever hope to land. And my land, the swamp. And my ass is grass. 
Jesus Christ. Where am I? Where are you? Freddie pronounced you dead. We had a funeral. Dead? Yeah. A funeral? Oh, damn. I broke another nail. Forget your nails. You're alive. Oh, Logan. I never thought I'd see you again. Never kiss you again. Never make love to you again. <laughs> Logan, you are going to make a fine groom for her. Darling, I hope you like this, because I've been up since the crack of dawn cooking for my little snookum-wookum. <laughs> smells like something died in here. I don't smell anything. Margaret, are you all right? Me? You look a bit, uh, off. Oh, don't be so silly, darling. I feel energized, invigorated positively. Reborn. Now, I want you to eat every last bite because you're going to need all your strength if you're going to make love to me five times a day. Did you really make all of this? Mm-hmm. Oh. And if you like this, you will love dessert. Ta-ta! Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're looking awfully chipper for a man who's just buried the love of his life. Were you the beneficiary? <laughs> you have just made the most colossal mistake of your medical career. Oh, no, no, no. I did that in England, dear boy. Why the hell do you think I'm in this place? I don't quite know how you blew this one, but uh, Margaret's alive. <laughs> It's impossible. I know a corpse when I see one. And I can assure you that poor dear Margaret, unlike me, is completely pickled. You see, I had her embalmed. <laughs> it's impossible. No, it's the law. One can't be too careful in this climate. <laughs> Something wrong, Pumpkin? Get away from me. Come and give you a little baby, baby a kiss. Give her one drop, she'll be your wife. Give her two, she'll be yours for life. Oh, my God. <laughs> stay, stay back, Margaret. You're dead. Sticks and stones can break my Oh my God, I've killed her. Wait a second, wait a second. I can't have killed her. She's already dead. Logan, how could you? I just bought this dress. Honey, 
desire. To Margaret, may she rest in peace. I thought I would never get over her death. <laughs> in fact, <laughs> I never thought she'd get over it either. You were, but you think you can take the easy way out. You see, Logan, it's like I tell you. I'll always keep my promises. Now there's someone who's just dying to see you. I always said you get ahead, Logan. <laughs> That's right, Logan. Like I say, she be yours for life and death. she wants. And how about Maggie? Girls like that are pretty hard to dig up. <laughs> anyway, 
Looks like poor old Logan's got himself a zombie. I think I'll have one too.